Good evening, my name is Henry, I'm from Malta. I have uh, tried to find many videos on how to uh, service uh, Yanmar injection, but I couldn't find, so uh, I decided to do a video myself. These are the things that you need in order to uh, affect the, uh, a, com a complete um, service for uh, your Yanmar uh, fuel injector. The fuel injectors that can be serviced uh, with this type of uh, procedure are the following. The 4JH2E up to uh, UTE. With this tool that I made, it's a piece of aluminium, the diameter is uh, 17 millimeter. Um, I can put the injector here. And with a bench vise, I can uh, unscrew the injector without damaging it. This is a simple setup of how I used uh, my tool in a bench vise. Um, uh, now I'm going to uh, take out the adjustable spanner or a spanner um, uh, number 12, metric 12, uh, to unscrew the top part. Okay. Prepare a clean surface, but most importantly, a clean surface should, should, should be prepared upon reassembly. And now I'm going to show you how to dismantle the injector itself. So, unscrewing the bottom part fully. Okay. <coughs> There's the spring locating uh, pin and there should be another one inside here. I prepared um, a pair of pliers with uh, electrical tape so that I will not damage the uh, finely machined uh, steel parts. Okay. Pushing the tip of the nozzle you can continue with the dis disassembly. <coughs> okay. Inside here, there should be a shim, which is difficult sometimes to uh, um, to extract. So I try to extract it with a long bamboo stick. I have already dismantled three uh, three injectors and in every injector I only found one shim. Sometimes there will be two or more. The shims uh, are made uh, up to size so that um, uh, they regulate the tension of the spring and they regulate the opening uh, pressure of the needle. So. It is best to use uh, copper um, uh, from normal electric wire to clean the parts. Uh, copper is uh, malleable and it's softer than uh, the steel parts uh, that the injectors are, are made of. Uh, for example, um, I'm putting this long strands into my portable driller and with this I'm going to clean the inside of the injector head, like this. Well, in uh, one easy step, I have cleaned uh, the inside of the tip and the sides where the uh, needle uh, slides. With the same strands of uh, copper wire, I'm winding them three times or more, if you would like, alongside the uh, nozzle, the outer part, and by turning, you can remove the carbon buildup easily and without fear of damaging the tip. So. The reason that I showed you uh, the piece of paper um, 
and you need a 7.5 millimeter hole and 8 millimeter hole in the wood is precisely for for this the 8 millimeter hole you can put the, the nozzle like that and you can store it while you can continue to clean uh, the other parts and with the 7.5 millimeter hole you can also clean the tip of the uh, uh, of the injector nozzle okay a dowel a wooden dowel is needed um, in order to uh, um, clean the uh, tip of the needle and i am going to show you i have already used this on the other three injectors with success okay grab the uh, the tip of the needle place it in the center of the dowel wood and it will clean quickly and efficiently inspect it uh, well and place it in, in a safe place okay copper strands um, which are less than 0.2 of a millimeter in diameter uh, you can obviously measure them with a caliper can be used to clean the five nozzle holes this is a difficult uh, procedure you need good light good eyesight and you have to try to locate one by one the holes insert the small uh, copper wire and turn it around a couple of times or more so that you make sure that you clean the nozzle uh, holes well i have located one of the holes and i inserted the uh, small very thin strand of copper wire and i have turned it a few times uh, if it breaks don't worry it will come out by using uh, the next step that i'm going to show you soon to make sure that you have cleaned the uh, nozzle thoroughly um, get a carburetor cleaner with a clean uh, pipe place it spray and check that the, there is a pattern of five jets coming out okay you can clean the uh, other side of the uh, needle by dipping it in toluene wrap it around paper clean paper and then check for smooth contact with the nozzle. If it grabs, you need to clean it more, or else you need to uh, change the whole needle nozzle assembly. Okay. I prefer to clean the parts with uh, toluene. Um, it was suggested um, on 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 Google. <laughs> After I 